Aloha and good morning. I'm Kimu Hussey, president of the Ukulele Guild of Hawaii, and this is my good friend, Yoshi Filey, also uh, a member of the, the Ukulele Guild of Hawaii and our guild's vice president. It's, it's about 6.30 here uh, in the morning, and we're waiting for some other people to come for a meeting. But in the meantime, uh, we thought we'd do two things. Um, most importantly, to tell you about our exhibition, uh, our ukulele exhibition, it's going to be called Hawaii Ukulele Festival. Uh, it's going to be held uh, November 19th and 20th of 2016 at the Moana Surfrider Waikiki Hotel. So, again, that's November uh, 19th and 20th at the Moana, and I want to use uh, uh, this ukulele that was made by Keith. Uh, in order to highlight the kinds of things that we're going to do. Keith, can you tell us about this ukulele? Would you like to hold it or would you like oh, me no, to hold it? Oh no, I'd rather you hold it. Um, okay, let's, let's, let's first talk about uh, looks and design. Well, it's traditional. It's fairly simple. And there's not a lot of bling to it. It's all koa. And it's koa front, back, sides, and a neck also. Uh, the fretboard is ebony. Um, or ebony accents. Uh, oh, this, this part is beautiful. Yeah. Camera person, can you see the designs here on the back? They're beautiful. Got it. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Got real lucky. This is the first log that I purchased um, from a mill and uh, was able to make four ukuleles out of that one log. So. Great. Um, I can tell you that uh, playability, which is uh, action, it's really wonderful on this ukulele because there's absolutely no need uh, to put the death grip on it in order to play it. Um, so let's uh, uh, let's consider sound. Here comes some sound. So as you can see, it's a low G ukulele. I want you to notice first that the blend is very good blend, as it applies to ukulele is a function of how well. Um, all four strings cooperate uh, with each other in order to produce sound. But if I go from this to this and that, and I play real chords, you notice what a wonderful, wonderful sound it has. Um, this ukulele not only has a great traditional sound, and traditional means, uh, you know, we hold C like this, and F like this, and G like this. We'll listen to some of these uh, uh, a little jazzier chords like this and this and this and this so you can see that the ukulele has a wonderful voice all the way up the fretboard even up here a lot of times on ukuleles when when you get up here uh, because of the scale uh, of any ukulele, we begin to run out of sound. But the one wonderful thing about this ukulele is as I play up here, and I'm around, uh, I'm, I'm on the 10th and 12th fret, uh, that we still get meaningful sound out of this ukulele. Um, so you can see again that all along the fretboard, there's wonderful, wonderful sound from uh, so, Keith, good job, buddy. Thank you. Keith is going to be one of the uh, persons displaying the ukuleles at our exhibition. What does this exhibition mean to you, buddy? You know, it means a lot. Uh, last year was my first year, and I was literally a deer in the headlamps. Uh, I <laughs> just didn't know what to expect. I was quite reserved, and I missed out on some opportunities and talking with some world-class builders. And this year. Man, I'm going to be uh, hanging onto their back pockets, trying to glean everything and anything. So, again, uh, good morning. Uh, come, please come uh, to our, uh, our our festival uh, that's going to be held again November the 19th and 20th of this year. And we promise you a lot of views like this. Aloha. Aloha.